Hi guys, I am back with another video and today it is all about my picks for the best perennials for a zone 9 flower bed that gets partial sun or full sun. So hot loving plants. I've got 14 plants on this list and to get on this list I had five criteria that I really wanted the plants to meet. They had to be easy to grow and hardy, low maintenance, drought resistant because of course it's Texas is where I am for zone 9. So these are hot parts of the country that sometimes have to deal with low amounts of rain in the summer. And these plants have to be colorful most of the year. So I want tons of color from these plants and I want them to also be plants that birds and pollinators love. So that's the criteria for my list. These 14 plants, let's get it started. Let's start with this colorful firecracker plant. It has these beautiful blooms, spring, summer, and fall, and they attract so many birds and bees to your yard. This low maintenance, easy to grow, drought resistant plant tops out at just around two feet, so it's perfect for borders. I love those red and purple blooms. Next up is the rock rose. I love those purpley pink flowers. This one also blooms spring, summer, and fall, and it's another great border plant since it also stays two feet or below in size, but it grows out really well, bees and birds and Butterflies love this. It's another pretty addition to any zone nine flower bed. The third easy to grow perennial on this list is this Mexican bush sage. It's another one that blooms spring, summer, and fall, so tons of color all year long. It also attracts tons of pollinators to your yard. It's drought resistant, very hardy, and like most of the perennials on this list, this plant grows so densely that it helps fight weed growth inside of it, and it grows out well, filling in empty areas. I love a colorful plant that can block weeds. Here's another drought resistant border plant that I love. It's this mealy cup sage. It has blooms spring, summer, and fall again. And as you can see, the bees in my yard love this one. It's another colorful, low maintenance plant that can handle that full sun or partial sun in Texas. Okay, let's move on to something bigger, and that is the crepe myrtle. They are well known for their pretty blooms. You can get purple, pink, red, and white flowers on these crepe myrtles. You can get dwarf-sized crepe myrtles that stay low or even grow them to tree size. Crepe myrtle trees are also great because their roots aren't aggressive, so they're typically not going to be a danger to your foundation, your sidewalks, or your driveways. In our Zone 9 yard in Houston, Texas, I get blooms on our crepe myrtle four to five months out of the year. And the seed pods that drop from this plant are a great source of food for birds in the winter. Next up is this beautiful Turk's cap. It attracts three to four nesting pairs of hummingbirds to our yard every summer. They absolutely love that Turk's cap. The bright red blooms also attract tons of butterflies to our yard. And we tend to have blooms at least half of the year in this part of Texas. A similar plant that birds love is the American Beauty Berry. So it starts off in this late spring with little flowers that turn into berries that ripen into this gorgeous dark purpley color in the late summer and early fall. Those berries are a favorite source of food for birds like robins, cardinals, mock mockingbirds, finches, and many other birds. So if you want to attract a lot of birds and butterflies to your yard, go for those Turks caps and those American Beauty Berry plants. Another favorite for butterflies in our area is the tropical milkweed. So I have a whole flower bed on the side of my house dedicated to tropical milkweed, and it attracts so many monarchs to our yard every summer. Monarch butterflies are classified as endangered now, so I do love to do anything I can to help them increase their numbers. Another easy to grow butterfly attracting plant is the common lantana. So make sure that your landscaping supply store is selling one of the non-invasive kinds. The yellow is great, but my favorite is actually the one with that purpley orange yellow flower mound. This is another one of those hardy, drought resistant, low maintenance plants that will give you flowers six to eight months of the year. Another really pretty zone nine lantana is this trailing lantana. It is great for borders. It's another one that stays really low. It's good at filling in the space around it and also resisting weed growth inside of it. So it makes maintenance in my yard super easy. Okay, next on the list is the sweet potato vine. I picked this one because I love the color of the leaves. This plant does not do well in full sun in the summer in Texas. So I use it underneath my decorative trees. So it's a partially sunny, partially shady area. It fills in all of that area underneath the tree that used to just be boring mulch. Another plant I love because of its purpley leaf color is the Chinese fringe flower. So this one in my yard is probably 20 years old. 
It is a nice large bush size plant that gives me color in my flower beds all year long. It is really easy to grow and maintain. Whenever it gets a little bit too big, I can trim it pretty heavily even sometimes, and it still keeps on living. So it's another great low maintenance way to add color to your yard. And speaking of low maintenance color, the Knockout Rose is a champ in most areas of the US, but it also performs really well in zone nine yards. I get blooms from these plants about nine months of the year. They're really hardy, low maintenance, easy to take care of plants. And last but not least on this list is this Golden Dew Drop. It's a low bush with a pretty yellowy green leaf color that I'm using just because it's another great way to add color to your flower beds that isn't just that basic green grass color. So it's a nice hardy plant that's easy to grow and it gives me a good pop of color in my flower beds all year long. Well, that's it for my picks for the best perennials for zone nine. I hope you saw something that you loved. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your picks for the best plants for your zone nine yard. I'd love to hear what you have found works the best in your flower beds. All right. Thanks guys.